Hey guys, welcome to another video. This video is going to be a different style of video. I think I'm just going to be kind of chatty and maybe that's what I'm going to have to do going forward just because I don't know anything. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I want and I am kind of struggling and that's kind of why I wanted to share this video just in case you find yourself in the same season as me, not really, not really knowing anything. <laughs> so, you know, when I first started this channel and I started on my platform on Instagram, I started motivating people. That's what I really wanted to do. I, it was all motivational. And then as I started writing more, I started sharing more about my writing. And that's when my platform kind of grew from like 500 to like 5,000 when I started sharing all about my writing process. And then I started, <clears throat> sorry, and then I started my YouTube channel. And then I started to mix the two, the writing and the motivation. And I've always said that I really, that I, I think this is crooked. Let me fix it. I don't know. Okay, let's see. I think that's better. Um, I've always been honest here that I've always struggled with the teaching aspect of the writing part of it, but I love talking about motivation and specifically I was always talking about motivation regarding the law of attraction and science and the mind and all the things, all the while I was a Christian, right? However, my teachings have never been Bible based or Christian faith. They were all law of attraction based and science based and spiritual and basically new age, right? And if you read my book enough, I talk there about how I arrived here and how possibly most of us arrive where we're at. I talk about my upbringing as a Catholic. I talk about how I became a born again Christian. And then I talk about how I moved into the new age world. Well, if you guys watched my last video, you know that I talked about how I've come back to the Christian faith hardcore and I've rededicated myself to God. And basically, it's a, it's a different feeling than I had the first time. Even though I knew I was committed and I believed then, this time around, it feels like on a whole nother level. Like, I am constantly, like, my Bible is over here. Hold on. <clears throat> I am constantly reading the Bible. I have a Bible app. I have my Bible. I have another study Bible. I've crossed over to Christian TikTok. So I'm constantly listening to that. I'm watching stuff. I'm listening to stuff. It's like, I can't get enough of it. It's like, I have this like immense thirst for learning about God and learning about the Bible and what he says about everything. That that's what I'm focused on. And every time I try to get on here and try to record a video or I try to do or try to sit down to work, it's like I, I can't do it. Like, I don't know why. So I was talking to my husband about how I feel and he said, well, that's what you have to talk about. <laughs> what I'm talking to you guys about now, because one of my confusions is I don't know. I've always talked about motivation and some of the things I've always said is, you know, when you're not feeling motivated and you feel stuck, you need to meditate, you need to spend time alone and you need to, you know, avoid your triggers, get off, you know, get off the bad news trend, get, get away from people that make you feel bad, avoid all the things, right? So th that's kind of in line with the Bible. The Bible tells you to do all those things, close the door, go into prayer, avoid negativity at all costs, you know, whatever words, you know, the, the way the Bible explains it. So all those things are right. Um, but one little piece is missing. So I said all that, and I always used to tell you to follow your heart, follow your heart and your heart will lead you to where you should be, right? Your intuition, that little voice inside of you. But in the Bible, it says something different. It says, guard your heart. You know, and almost like don't trust your heart because your trust, your heart will lie to you. So where I feel stuck right now is like, well, if I can't trust my heart and I can't trust my intuition, I can only trust the word of God on a daily, daily basis. You know, like, should I record a video? Should I continue on TikTok? What should I write next? Should I go get, go back to work? Should I just not do anything? All those things. I am at a loss. Like, 
who do I, what do I do? Like, do I listen to, I can't listen to my heart. So it's kind of hard for me to come on here and do what I've always done and motivate you and inspire you when I feel like I don't have the answers. And my husband told me, well, that's what you need to share. Cause a lot of people feel exactly like you. They don't have the answers. And honestly, this is like, this is a new journey for me. So I hope you guys come along and hopefully I, as I get the answers, I will deliver them to you. But that's where I'm at right now. I just feel, I feel lost as far as that part is. But if you know the answer, if you know, you know, if you have an answer based on the Bible um, that you can drop in the comments below, I would love because I, I need an explanation as to how do I know I'm heading in the right direction? I know that I'm reading the Bible and I'm listening to God's word, but on a daily basis, if I can't trust my heart, if I can't trust my intuition, if I can't trust that feeling, then what, what, how do I move forward? How do I take the next step? How do I know which direction to go? So if you have the answer to that, drop it in the comments. <laughs> and um, also, um, because another way, another thing is that before, you know, there's a lot of stuff coming at me as far as, and I've always known that, you know, in the Christian faith, you're not, you're not supposed to follow the zodiac signs. You're not supposed to do tarot, oracle cards. You're not supposed to do crystals. Anything that's not based on the Bible or anything that you put in place of God, you're not supposed to do. I don't feel I ever used my oracle cards or my crystals or my incense or anything like that in place of God. As far as like, if I burned incense in my house, I was allowing God to, you know, God, please bless this house. So I was using God. However, all those things made me feel like I was heading in the right direction because I was still doing it in God's name. But, you know, according to the Bible, we're not supposed to do any of that. And I, I've known that. I've known that we're not supposed to follow the zodiac sign, but this is where I'm at as far as zodiac signs are concerned. In the Bible, it says that God created the stars and the sky and the moon and the earth. He just created everything. And I don't know, you know, I would tell myself, well, if God created the stars and he's using people to read the stars and connect it to certain times of the year. The Bible does say that you can use the stars as an almanac. So basically, you know, the, the seasons and the days to count the days and all that. So if back in the day, people were using these stars to talk about the weather and the time of day and the time of year and all these things. And then somebody came along and put it, oops, sirens, and put it into what we now know today as the Zodiac. I'm not being controlled by like, I don't understand the witchcraft connection to it because I'm not thinking it's from the devil and I'm not saying that I'm being guided by anything other than God. I feel like God gave these people a talent that he didn't give me. I don't know how to do zodiac signs. I don't know how to read the stars. I don't know how to read all that stuff, but it's not supposed to be. So in essence, I just don't know anything that's where I feel right now I know nothing and although I still want to come on here and I probably this is all I'm going to do from now on it's just trying to learn get answers and as I learn share it with you but if you do have answers for me or you know still let's be polite and kind to each other because that's always at the core of my platform is to always respect each other um not to attack each other for difference of opinions. Uh, I'm sure a lot of you that are here are not Christians. You don't believe in God, or maybe you do. It doesn't matter. You know, my faith is my faith, and I have an obligation to share what I believe as a Christian. That is part of my faith, is to share the gospel, just so that you know it's there. It doesn't mean that I'm pressuring you to it. I just have to verbally say it. <laughs> I have to share it so that you are aware that it exists so that I'm not held accountable when it, it comes to, you know, my time so that God, you know, knows that I, I knew his word. I shared his word. I did what I came to do. So anyways, that's basically it. That's what's on my mind. I'm, I haven't been able to write. I want to write something. I just don't know what. I know there's another book in me for sure. I, I do believe it's going to be a nonfiction book. I just don't know what it's going to be. Um, I probably, it's going to look a lot like this journey right here, you know, 
and hopefully at the end there's a positive outcome there's a lesson that i've learned that i can share with you that's what i've done with all you know who believe damn it when i learned about the law of attraction with enough stop the negative chatter those are my books um i had gone through something and i had when i was on you know some parts i was going through and in some parts i had come on the other side and that's what i shared with you so i'm hoping this is the same thing that someday i'll be on the other side of this and i can take you through my journey and if you feel the same way i if, if you're at that point, if you have felt the way I felt or feel the way I feel that you can see where I was and how I came out on the other side. So anyways, I just wanted to do this video for that purpose, just to let you guys know that I don't know. I don't know. I don't know anything, but I'm learning. <laughs> and that's pretty much it. That's it, you guys. And I'll keep posting videos and I don't know what they're going to look like, but I'm going to try to just share as much as I can. That is it, you guys. I hope you have a wonderful day. Remember to leave me in the comments if you know anything about anything regarding this topic I just talked about. And that's it. I'll see you in a brand new video next time. Until then, God bless you.